Hello there, my name is Bo, and every year I make a synth and music production gift guide because it's not that easy to know what to get a synth lover or music producer. So this is the perfect video to share with friends, with family, with your partner, so that they have some kind of clue on what to get you for Christmas or for the winter holidays. So every year I try and find some cool products that are not too expensive, some things are sent to me by the companies making it, and some things I buy myself. And today's video is also sponsored by DistroKid, so later in the video I'll talk about why that's a good synth gift. Kim has been making some of the most beautiful books about synthesizers out there, and this time around I'm recommending his book Patch and Tweak with Moog. So this book is focused on Moog synthesizers. It features a lot of different patch ideas. There's some lovely interviews with musicians and even a few interviews with friends of mine, for example, Mylar Melodies. And my buddy Lightbath, who personifies the whole crystals and plants in synth videos. So I've linked this book as well as other books by King Bjorn, I mean um, Kim Bjorn, uh, down in the descriptions. So go and check them out. No synth gifts list could ever be complete without the Korg Nutec NTS-1 synthesizer. It's a small DIY synthesizer, so whoever you give it to will have something fun to put together themselves. You can play it from the little keyboard on top of it or connect it to a MIDI keyboard. But what's more amazing is that you can also use it as an effects unit, so you can take other synths and process them through the Korg Nutec NTS-1. Now the next gift that I want to talk about is something really beautiful that I had hoped to be able to showcase here on the walls behind me. But because of the pandemic, things, packages are being held in customs way longer than usual, so I just didn't get this in time. So one day I got this email from an artist in Ukraine and he makes these beautiful oil paintings from scratch. It's 100% original work and he wanted to send some over for the studio and of course I said like, yeah, make one of the Digitact, of the Minilog, maybe the Microfreak. And I just think that the results speak for themselves. So if you know somebody who really loves a particular synth or brand of synths, this is an epic gift to give somebody. Every year I try and showcase a synth stand or two, and this year we have the Asimov from Crema Cafe. It's a pretty tall two-tier synth stand, so you can have one synth on the top and one synth can be leaning against the bottom. Crema Cafe always have very elegant designs, and this stand is actually quite sturdy as well. Another cool thing that Crema Cafe sent over are their skins for the Octa track as well as the Digitact or Digitakt, as we say in Sweden, and that should be the preferred pronunciation, Digitakt. As you can see, there are plenty of different styles of skin, different colors, different graphics, and they're actually very easy to put on your Digitakt. You start off by gently removing the knobs, use a screwdriver to remove the screws, see which one of the designs you like the most, and then you just screw back the screws and put back the knobs. And I must say that it does look quite stylish. This is probably a good gift for anybody who has a Digitact, Digitact. Just check with your partner or friend, do they have this little beautiful sampler? And if they do, I think a skin could be a cool idea. If your partner or friend is a Eurorack lover, you could basically buy whatever module you want and they would be excited. For this year's synth gifts video, I actually went ahead and bought a module from Winter Bloom for two reasons. Firstly, who can say no to a big honking button? And it looks cool and seems like fun. And secondly, when you buy something from Winter Bloom, a portion of the revenue goes to charity. So that always feels really nice. 
every year I try and include a product from a small manufacturer, an indie developer. And this year we have this little synthesizer called Kun or Kun. It's a tiny two oscillator synthesizer with quite a unique design. It also sports an FM engine with four operators, as well as a granular synth engine. And you also have an auxiliary input for sampling stuff, as well as a 32 step sequencer. And if you want to know more about it, go and check out my buddy Starsky Cars video. He has a really in-depth video on it. And here are some of the highlights. <laughs> So today's video is sponsored by DistroKid and DistroKid is actually a really good gift. If I were like 15 or 20 years old and my parents would have bought me a subscription for DistroKid, that would actually have been a really cool thing. The reason that I have been with DistroKid for so many years is because it's a very affordable service. You can upload unlimited amounts of music to Spotify or iTunes and you can pay as little as 20 bucks a year for this. Another useful feature of DistroKid is Teams. It's a way to split revenue between different creatives and it's super easy to set up. You can add unlimited amounts of collaborators and you can change the split between collaborators at any time. So if you know somebody that wants to upload their music to Spotify, iTunes and other stores, I think DistroKid is a really good option to check out. So you can use my link down in the description if you want to go and check out DistroKid. Another really exciting and practical gift is a synth stand. Now these are not just any synth stands, these are Jaspers. Made in Germany and highly modular, the Jaspers are among the best synth stands that I know of. And I'm actually working on a Jaspers buyer's guide because there are so many different modules to pick from and I'm doing this together with Toman. So if you want to see that, be sure to let me know in the comments and hit the thumbs up. And these stands are available at different price points, but the cool thing is that you can expand on them. So you can buy something affordable and then expand when you need more shelves, for example. If you're looking for a book that will help you understand subtractive synthesis, then this book by Rob Papen is definitely worth a look. The book breaks down subtractive synthesis into different elements and go through them very pedagogically. Now this book that I have here comes with DVDs and it's out of print. So there's a new version of the book and the contents of the DVDs will be available for download. So I've linked Rob's webpage down below so you can go and check if it's out yet. I'm not entirely sure when it will be available online, but it's definitely an interesting book worth checking out. When I got started with electronic music sometime in the late 90s, buying an audio interface was quite expensive. Thankfully nowadays we have plenty of affordable audio interfaces and here's a favorite of mine, the new Evo 8 from Audient. There are two different versions, the Evo 4 and the Evo 8, and I've reviewed the Evo 4 on the channel before and I actually think it's a very solid audio interface, but I do recommend the Evo 8 even more because you almost always need the extra inputs. And it's not that much more expensive either, so that would be my recommendation. With this interface you have an instrument input on the front suited for a guitar for example, then you have four different audio outputs for speakers, so you can have two different speaker pairs, as well as four XLR inputs which have phantom power that you can use for microphones, synthesizers, whatever you want. One thing it lacks however is MIDI I.O. So if you want to connect your synths over DIN MIDI, you need a dongle or an interface with MIDI. Something that a lot of synth lovers overlook is acoustic treatment of your home studio or synth dungeon. But it's really important and it doesn't have to cost a lot. I bought my acoustic panels from Blue Tone Acoustics and for a gift I would recommend getting two studio absorbers to start with. Just remember that if you are disturbed by your partner's so-called music, the bleeps and the bloops, acoustic panels are meant to make the room sound better, not the music. 
With so many different MIDI keyboards out there, it can be really hard to know which one to get. Thankfully, Arturia updated their key step to the key step 37 and basically took the key step, which was already a great keyboard, and added more functions, like knobs, for example, that you can use to control your DAW. Altogether, I think that the key step 37 is one of the best all around MIDI keyboards out there in its price range and definitely worth checking out. Now, let's swing over to the next synth gift. Now for the last gift in today's video, we have another book here. So this is Synthesizer Evolution by Olli Freke, Oli Freke. And it's actually a really nice little book here, let me show you. So I just got the book here and it's basically the history of synthesizers. So we have all the different synthesizers from different brands and it goes through them. Just a bit of text, some nice drawings. It's a really nice book if you just want to take a look at all the different synths that have been released and what they kind of look like. So definitely worth checking out Synthesizer Evolution by Uli Freke and I'll drop a link down in the description. Now finding that perfect gift for a synth lover or music producer can be difficult. So if you enjoyed my suggestions but didn't quite find that gift that you were looking for, be sure to check the links in the description for a ton of more gift ideas. And you should also check my Toman store, so I'll link it down below. It's an affiliate store, so I earn a bit of commission if you buy something from it. And I tried to list a bunch of cool gifts under 150 bucks, or you could go and check out some of my previous year's synth gifts episodes. Thank you so much for watching this year's Synth Gifts video and be sure to leave a little comment down below with your favorite suggestions for a Synth Gift because I know that people will be reading so be sure to drop a comment. And as always I hope you have a great day, talk to you later.